don't believe it's Gabby. The lighting is horrible, I look orange. I'm sorry. I figured since I do a lot of cosplay stuff, I thought some people might want to know some things. Today I'm doing a tutorial on dyeing your hair with spray. I'm a slight novice at this, I've done it like only a few times. I don't do it constantly, I usually choose a wig. But if you don't have a wig and you want to just dye your hair, temporarily, you just use spray. So let's get to it. So first you want to comb out your hair to make it like less knotted so it doesn't get as clumpy when you're spraying. Now before you actually start, make sure you're not wearing any clothing you don't want to destroy. I chose this one because I really haven't worn this shirt in years. I also am taking out my earrings, that way that doesn't get ruined. Now that I'm ready and I have nothing to destroy. So basically what you want to do right now after you detangled your hair and got rid of all the stuff, you want to try to get it as symmetrical as possible if you're doing this kind of thing. I'm going to be dyeing my right side red and my left side black. Kind of like Harley Quinn or some band members and stuff. If you want to do that kind of cosplay or any kind of color cosplay that's half and half. So make it as symmetrical as possible, make Death the Kid proud. And while you're doing that you want to put your hair into pigtails for half and half. Separate your hair so you can do one at a time. they do not have to be even on like up and down you just have to make sure that it's symmetrical and you got all the hair or I've got short hair so the back's going to be a little screwed up I co cut out a piece of cardboard in order to do this so you don't get it on the other side in order to do that this is when you need a helper <laughs> I have helper so I'm going to take one out and I'm going to put this around here. Well, my sister fixed it to make it perfectly symmetrical. Perfect. Now I look like a slight Princess Leia with, if she had really, really short hair. And now we're going to do the right side red and left side black. First we're going to do the right side. As you do this, you're going to need to comb it. And make sure you're using a comb that you don't want to destroy as you everything else. Care. Comment as you do it, and don't let your sister or p helper get it in your ear. <laughs> hold this. Wait. I'll hold that against my ear. dry for like five to ten minutes before I start with the other one before I put it back up into a uh, pigtail. It will start in the black. By the way, it's, I have really short hair. Not like majorly short hair, but I have short, pretty short hair. And it took two cans, so keep that in mind when you're doing this. We are going to blow dry this to have it dry a little faster so we don't have to wait too long. Also, so we can tell how dry it is and what it actually looks like. It's not dark enough yet after we've dried it, so we're going to do another coat. We are going to repeat the process of the hair drying and seeing how it goes. We ran out of the two cans, so I hope it goes well. Make sure to wash your supplies between colors. Now that that's done, put your hair back 
into the pigtail. Where's that? If you don't feel you got all the hair, have your helper put it up for you. And take the next one down. To cover my ear because I got some red in this ear. How beautiful. And if you want, use a gas mask and possible eye gear oh, no. if you're afraid that might happen. We are now going to proceed with black. We are now going to do the drawing thing. <laughs> Second coat. So I finished the black side and the red side. So that was the tutorial. I washed my hair, obviously. It's gone. That was simple soap and water, and it's all gone. Same with the hands. I hope this helped you for your next Comic Con if you want to do that kind of thing. Warning, you want to make sure it's completely dry before you go out or it will get everywhere. What my sister does is she uses a hair straightener to have it go in longer and have it 100% dry before she leaves. And it'll stay in a little longer. It'll be fine until you take a shower, which I did. I hope this helped you in some way. I wouldn't suggest doing this in a place where it's going to rain, like an outdoor event where you know it's going to rain. If you liked the video, if you want to see more from me, subscribe. If you liked the video, like. I'm going to start doing a lot of cosplay videos, so if you want to know how to do something, comment down below. If you'd like a tutorial on how to make a cosplay thing, just comment down below. Goodbye, my lovelies. I hope you had a great day. Good night.